Stefan Calise was enjoying a night out with friends when he was stabbed in front of the Cadillac Lounge on Saturday. And now he leaves behind a four-year-old daughter and a family who's searching for answers. The anti-Semitic note was found by a staff member at the center. That's a place for Jewish people to gather and celebrate. It left many students shaken, especially after the anti-Semitic comments made by Kanye West on social media. Police have been on site for 12 hours after a contractor found human remains. Now, police describe it as uh, skeletal remains found in the area between Sheridan Street and Broad Street and Central Falls. Now, as you can see behind me, there is a white tent and a dirt pile, which is where police are focusing their investigation. The contractor told us that he was in disbelief earlier this morning at around 8 a.m. when he found the remains and knew he had to call 911. You know, first thing I did was a joke because I moved the body twice back and forth. And when I moved the body one side, I told it was a joke. I don't think, you know, that was not to happen. And I grabbed the head. I moved to the other side, then I kicked it, like flipped it, I see the teeth and the eyes, I said, oh, this is a human being. That's when I called the cops. Now, there's no saying exactly how long the remains have been there, but police do believe that they have been there for a while. They're still on site investigating, and we are working to find more information. Reporting in Central Falls, Ariel Dorsey, 12 News. Gun violence is a major topic of discussion tonight at Rhode Island College just a day after the latest school shooting at the University of Virginia. Gun violence makes a ripple effect throughout a community, a school, a workplace, and it indelibly changes the lives of loved ones left behind. Rhode Island College holding a discussion on gun violence. Less than 24 hours after three football players were killed, and two were injured at the University of Virginia on Sunday night. We all have to collaborate as we have been doing um, in continuing to fight this gun violence. Providence Detective Sergeant Timothy McGann among the panelists, saying while attention is often on assault weapons, handguns are more prevalent on the streets. What we should really need to be focusing on is, is the handgun. The discussion also focusing on what causes gun violence, like trauma. They're born into this, so many young people feel as if they have to carry a gun for safety. Gun law is also a major topic, fighting to pass stricter laws in order to bring more safety into communities. Because we need the legislators up there fighting for this issue and not cowering away from it. All agree that finding solutions need to be now and not when something happens, and that it'll take time and collaboration from everyone. You've got to work with other people so you can, you know, get ideas together, um, support one another, and come together to realize, okay, as individuals we can do so much, but by forming together and coming together, mm -hmm. um, so much more can happen as you collaborate. Ariel Dorsey, 12 News. The general elections are just a few weeks away, and candidates are out again today sharing their platform before voters head to the polls. The race for Rhode Island's next governor is heating up, as Democratic incumbent Dan McKee and Republican candidate Ashley Kalis hits the campaign trail this week. We want to invest in our communities and the people who live in our communities. Dan McKee hosting a Get Out the Vote rally Saturday. The focus for the incumbent? the people who live in Rhode Island and the people who work in Rhode Island and we know that the J-O-B-S is our number one priority and we're going to make it happen. Marty Wash, the United States Secretary of Labor, joined McKee in Providence Saturday. We need to build up the enthusiasm right now in the next couple of weeks. While the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden, will be in town for a McKee event on Wednesday. Something McKee's opponent, Republic Ashley Kayla, says is a sign of nerves ahead of the election. Desperate campaigns do desperate things, and that's what we're seeing with uh, Dan McKee, is he needs to bring in folks from D.C. to help him because he has no record to run on in Rhode Island. 
Kayla's out in Westerly Saturday knocking on doors, talking to voters, and she says her main concerns for the state, affordable housing and education. This isn't the first time that we've seen a big name in Rhode Island. Just last month, Chris Christie was in Providence endorsing Alan Fung. Reporting in Providence, Ariel Dorsey, 12 News.